Congratulations on implementing the GE MAC2000 resting ECG system into your healthcare facility. The MAC2000 utilizes the MARCAT 12SL analysis program to assist physicians in making accurate cardiac diagnoses. This is a simple to use ECG solution that can help you improve ECG quality, consistency, and access. This video will provide you with an introduction to the MAC2000 covering key features, system setup, keyboard navigation, lead placement, and acquiring an ECG. Please take a moment to review the operator's manual that came with your system prior to utilizing the unit. Let's take a quick look at the unit and the external connections. The patient cable is connected to the port on the right side of the unit. At the back of the unit, you will find an SD card slot, an Ethernet LAN connection, two USB ports that can be used for optional barcode reader and Wi-Fi, two COM ports for data connectivity to CS or MUSE systems, and a phone jack that is for an analog phone line that connects to the internal modem. The power connection at the back of the unit should be plugged in whenever possible to keep the unit's battery fully charged. The top surface of the unit contains the keyboard and display screen. Turn the MAC2000 on by pressing the power key on the upper left side of the keyboard. Next to the power key, you will see the battery LED. A solid amber light means the battery is charging. If the light is flashing, it indicates the battery is low. The next light on the keypad is the power LED. A solid green light indicates the unit is plugged in and receiving power. The leads key enables you to scroll through the leads and allows you to select the display formats for the lead sequence. When pressed, the ECG key acquires and prints a 12 lead ECG. Next is the rhythm key, which allows you to print a continuous real-time rhythm. If you wish to stop printing, simply press the writer stop key. The trim pad provides movement through menus and windows by moving the cursor left, right, up or down through the data fields. Press the center button to select the field in which the cursor is currently resting. Upon startup, the system is ready for acquiring an ECG, as indicated at the top left-hand side of the screen. The lead labels identify the corresponding waveform and its quality. Display format and operating mode are shown at the top of the display. System time and date, battery indicator, storage information, hookup advisor signal quality indicator, and heart rate are all displayed in the upper right corner. Across the bottom of the screen, you will see blue tabs that correspond to the silver keys just below the tab. To choose a particular function, press the corresponding silver key beneath the menu item. To enter patient data, press the silver key below the patient data tab. The patient data entry screen will open. Enter the patient ID by using the numeric keypad. Use the trim pad or enter key to move through the data fields. For drop-down menus such as the gender field, ensure the data field is highlighted. Then press the center key on the keypad to display the list of the choices. Use the trim pad to navigate the list and make your selection by once again pressing the center key. For radial button selections, highlight the data field and use the center key to select or deselect. It's important to include the patient's age and gender as these two fields are critical to the interpretive statements in the analysis program. To advance to the other data entry fields, press the silver key beneath the page down tab. Once data entry is complete, press the silver key beneath the Save tab. After entering patient data and while still in the resting ECG mode, press the ECG button on the keypad. The system will acquire a 10-second ECG and display a print preview. Review the preview and select Continue to print. Or press the Cancel key, then press the ECG key on the keypad to reacquire a 12-lead ECG. Press the save key to store the ECG. If a rhythm strip is to be acquired, press the rhythm button on the keypad. Press the stop key to stop the writer from writing. For additional resting ECG setup, please see the operator's manual supplied with the MAC2000. Load the printing paper in the MAC2000 by pressing down on the silver lever on the left side of the unit. The printer door will open. Slide in the new pad of paper with the hole facing the top left corner into the paper drawer and pull the top page of the paper over the roller and align between the two indents and close the door. Prior to placing leads, patient body hair must be removed to assure good contact. 
After hair removal, abrade the skin and cleanse with alcohol, then dry completely. Place the electrodes in the following areas. V1 next to the sternum on the right side. V2 next to the sternum on the left side, both at the fourth intercostal space. Place V3 midway between locations V2 and V4. Place V4 at the midclavicular line at the fifth intercostal space. V5 between V4 and V6 on the same horizontal line. V6 at the mid-axillary line on the same horizontal level as V4. Right arm needs to be placed on the right wrist, left arm on the left. Place right leg and left leg on the corresponding right and left ankles. Thank you for your interest in the MAC 2000 resting ECG system. This video has been an introduction to get you up and running with your MAC 2000. For more comprehensive instruction, please consult the operator's manual that came with your system prior to utilizing the unit.